God damn is it hot out. It's in the 90s. And I'm about to do another... Sort of the engine's cooler than it is, so I guess it sort of counts as a cold start, whatever. It's really just an excuse to just talk about this, uh, this truck. Um, cleaned up the interior a bit more. I'm thinking of putting carpet in it. <laughs> Pretty nice. Painted the rockers a bit, slightly. Just, uh, this thing will probably just start right up. Not even a pop poop. Yep, there we go, it started right up. Perfect. Good God, is it hot out. Yeah, I cleaned this thing up a lot. It really looks pretty nice from a distance. Like, that's like... If I were to sell, which I don't, I'm not gonna sell this thing. This thing's kind of, kind of attached to this thing. If I, if I were to sell it, this would actually be pretty sellable. Even though the paint looks nice, the paint is total shit. I'm a shit painter. So just from there, it doesn't look bad. Pop the hood. God damn it. Yeah, pretty nice. Look, this grill is absolutely perfect. It's the original grill. This grill is a really hard part to come by, and it's absolutely perfect. Maybe you can put some paint on it, but there's no cracks, no nothing. Yeah, there it is running. Of course, it misses a bit, but whatever. Paint the, painted uh, the thing. Valve cover leaks, even though I've replaced the gasket, I broke off one of the bolts. So it leaks a bit. It doesn't leak that much. I don't really give a shit. Yeah. Yeah. This thing runs super nice. Well, it drives super nice. But a few issues like uh, shift linkage, a little bit of little bit of play. A little bit of play. Because there's a bushing that's like basically totally missing. I don't know if you can hear me over that engine. But yeah, yeah I don't know. I, what I did to sort of make this look nicer for now, I just basically wiped it all, all over with WD-40. I mean, I've waxed it and stuff like that, but I just thought, hey, WD-40. And damn. Gives it like a nice shine for a short period of time. Perfect for like the freaking auction photos and stuff. I had this one Chrysler van that ended up only getting 700 bucks. The paint did look half decent, but not that bad. But I realized I probably could have gotten more if I freaking wiped it down with WD-40 first. Yeah. You know, on the other hand, actually, or another thing I'll show you is that it's not the only pre-1980 car uh, we have. My brother, who's also a car guy, but sort of on the absolute opposite end of the spectrum, a little while ago he bought this uh, 1970 Datsun 240Z. Yeah, early production and all that stuff, like an early production number. 60,000 original miles, but it, it does, we're, well, it does run, we did get, I did get it to run for him, um, but it, it needs a lot, it needs brakes, all that stuff. Um, but uh, we're kind of waiting on a title for it right now. Um, but hopefully when we get the title, we're going to um, actually put more work into it. Because it's really, it's a pretty solid car. This is not the original paint. It's not the original paint. It has been repainted with some single stage, which actually it was single stage originally. But it's like looked like it had been repainted at Mako. Um, has, has some rust issues. But honestly... I mean, it's a it's a it's a four speed and it's uh, pretty nice. It has I think a one I don't know I think it's like a hundred forty one cubic inch uh, in straight six uh, and I think it's a overhead cam engine. Hi kitty. 
um, but it uh, runs pretty nice. I, I love these slot mags right here. These wheels are awesome. They just, they just set. They just go great with the car. It doesn't have any keys with it, but we're gonna get keys made and stuff like that. But as soon as we get a title, yeah. As soon as we get a title, we're actually gonna be doing stuff to this thing. Well, he is. It's his car. I'm. I'm not gonna be that involved. But yeah. Um, another hand, Suburban's doing good, uh, though a few little minor issues, well, a few minor issues with it, uh, gas tank's leaking a bit, not that bad, though, um, and, uh, actually, I, I painted the grill and pulled out the bumper a bit, and then I also put that tornado on the side, so yeah, it looks pretty, it lo doesn't look bad, got some stuff in it right now, it really, it doesn't look bad. I also put a pinstripe on it. That pinstripe. Well, I'm not that good at putting pinstripes on stuff. My first time putting a pinstripe. But it didn't turn out that bad. I'm hoping to put my new wheels on. I got some steel wheels that are painted uh, silver that I'm going to put on it. Um, those ti I kind of want to put some different tires on it, even though these tires are good. Um, just some bigger ones, like on the yellow truck, some 265, 75R15s, or maybe some, oh, I could put 31s on it. Um, on the yellow truck, I could put 31s. I put 31s on the yellow truck, then I could swap the tires on that. Because I don't think 31s would fit under that, but the tires I have right now, the 265, 75R15s, would fit. 31s would probably fit under the yellow truck. Fine. Um, but yeah. yeah, I'm just leaving this thing running. It really just, it runs, it moves right along. I'm actually due for an oil, I'm almost due for an oil change right now. Because I've uh, put a good amount of, uh, quite a few miles, put about 3,000 miles on it since then. It just runs nice, runs pretty cool. It's in the 90s today, damn is it hot, but pretty nice. This is still what I'm gonna call a cold start. Even though it, it just isn't. The other thing, I'm thinking of putting carpet in this. This mat is terrible. I'm gonna have to fix some holes in the floor. So that shouldn't be too difficult. Um, just welding some new metal. But then after that, I'm gonna put some carpet, maybe some of that dynamat stuff. And then maybe I'll maybe I'll actually put a real exhaust system on it instead of this bailing wire job right here. I don't know if you can see that. Straight piped. Oh, gotta turn the brightness back down. But uh, yeah, the, um, just another kind of rambling with me. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and uh, tune in next time to see more carbureted engines struggling with start, even though this one didn't actually struggle at all. Thank you.